Ladies and gentlemen, and all who may fall in between, all hail the asshole season has commenced. Yes, if you're seeing me live on your screen, yes, I am Mouse Jones, BT's resident rebel rouser. And if you see me on your screen, that means I'll apologize later is back for another episode. And that means I'm actively doing my part to make BT black again. So thank you for your support. Thank you for all your help. Shout out to my guest last week, Mac Wiles. But this week, we got my guy Designer. You already know. And that means we about to get crazy in here. We about to run down the topics. We're going to talk about the Arizona stalker. We talk about my man. Well, it's not my man. It's y'all man, Tristan Thompson. And then we're going to talk about Gilbert Arenas. He wants his bag. You got to stay tuned. Uh, But somewhere around here, I'm not sure where, there should be a disclaimer. I don't care about that because I already told you. If I say something to make you mad, make get your feelings all hurt, I'll apologize later. Now, let's get into it. We got my man Designer. It's lit. <laughs> my guy, Bed Stuy's finest. What up? Nah, what's up, man? Brooklyn in the building, man. What's up, man? I'm gonna be in my boy Mouse, man. What it is? What's good, girl? man? Hey, hey, man. Count the blessings. LOD out, man. Yeah. We're in the merch, selling the merch. Make yeah. sure y'all go get that, man. We're in that hoodie, man. Summertime out here. I got booty shorts coming up with the girls. It's crazy, man. Whole lot of gang here, shit. Man. Whole lot of gang shit. Little Yo. Studio BT, I'm f- I gave my own show. Man, I told you, man. This thing remind me of Martin, man. Yeah. For real, Listen, you in here looking that's right. What I was, that's what I was shooting for. You know what I mean? We get that real. Get that real WZUP. What's up? <laughs> so first up, this lady, mm-hmm. I think she was one of the others. She's from Arizona. She sent 65,000 text messages to a dude after a first date. One date, my n- One date. I'm pretty sure there's some women in this world that if I didn't answer, <laughs> that I would probably would have 65,000 text messages. Oh, man, I got 65,000 DMs right now, so it's crazy. I already know. Yeah, 65,000? 65,000 Sell me like 30 of them. Man, I got you. Sell me 30 of them, because I, I know some of them got to be bad. <laughs> yeah, I know some of them got to be bad. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just, you got you to keep the roster fresh. So after all that, the dude must have called the cops, because mm. now they got a restraining order on her. Now they offering her... J- Kira, you said jail time, right? They about to they about to give us some jail time behind that, right? Yeah. That's my super producer, Kira. Yeah. Yo, I like this energy. What? Because for far too long, us as the men, mm. you know, they don't respect us. They can just do whatever they want. Mm-hmm. They can say whatever they want. They can treat us however they want. But now the table turn. They wanted that mother quality. Yeah, equal equal lockup time, mother. <laughs> equal your time now. What's the most text messages you got from one woman without answering them? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, man. Yo, I got some, I got some crazy ones. I got some ones in the DM where the girl's sticking the cucumber in her ass. Now, this, Jesus Christ. Where, like, Jesus. Like, like twenty, like twenty, twenty videos of this shit. I be watching it. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I be watching it, yo, bro. But every crazy. You gotta stop leading her yo, on, yo. Yo, I ain't leading her on, You are bro. watching the videos. Yo, she that's leading with, her on. Yo, she in love with designer, man. No funny, man. She says she. Uh, I'm a, well, I'm she get the LOD. Artist. Yeah, she lived at LOD. All man. right. That was our good brother, Free Tax Stone, says, be safe, though. Because I don't. 65,000 text messages, she don't care about nothing. On my mother, the next time a girl call me after I send her to, to voicemail, I'm calling the cops. God damn. Next, uh, next up, we got my man, Tristan Thompson. Once again, that's not my man. <laughs> that's not my man. That might be your man. That might be designer. That's not yeah, man. my man. I was in the club with him. I was in the club with him, man. They're good, cool. You know, good people. You know what I'm saying? That's, right. that's the Kardashian he family. Probably you know story. But, he probably told on you, too. Nah, nah. I ain't got nothing. I listen, he was man. In an interview, he was in an interview, and when they asked him about cheating on Khloe Kardashian, what? instead of saying what all of us say is black men don't cheat, he going to go and say it's the culture of the NBA, and it was peer pressure. Peer pressure that made him cheat. Now, peer pressure has led me to do a lot of things, yeah. but never had. I'm lying. I'm lying. I was about to lie. I was about to lie. I was about to lie. But he's supposed to hold it down. He told on everybody. He said everybody got a side chick in the NBA. As far as I know, black men don't cheat. Right. And uh, I'm a number one on that. I'm actually number one on that list. Uh, <laughs> if this was NBA 2K, my nope. play rating would be through the man, roof. Man, that's crazy, man. It's faithfulness. Crazy. If this was 2K, my faithfulness would be at like a 99. You feel what I'm saying? Tristan Thompson, shut the hell up. What is wrong with you? Y'all Canadians are too soft. That's what it is. These Canadian dudes, these Canadian <laughs> come to New York. I'm telling you, him, Drake, um, Tory Lanez. Who's another one? Who else is Canadian? I like Dame Caesar. He a good guy. So Dame Caesar, he look like a, he look. He he a good guy. But the rest of y'all, y'all y'all come over here and start acting weird. Start telling how you cheat and tell. 
I already know if we do a crime, he's sending all of us Yo, up. Man, so listen, man, you never, never, you ain't real if you squid. Tristan Thompson, the type to, we be hiding, he get caught, he be like, Yo, they got us. Yeah. Uh, no, they got you. <laughs> they got you. <laughs> they got you. <laughs> Tristan Thompson, shut your mouth, man. Hold it down, yeah, man. Learn to hold it the f down. Yes, man, be careful out there. Be, man, be more safe, man. Yo, any of your mans ever, ever put you in that weird position where, like, they lying to their girl and be like, Uh, nah, that wasn't my, that was designer's. I just now gained it to a real, you know, a little set of that thing. But back in the day, oh, okay. man, it was crazy, man. It was crazy. Breaking news. Time, you know, so I so on, I'll apologize later. Designer announced you got a girl. Yeah, I got, I got That's girl. lit. I got, I got you. I'm worried, man. Heck yeah, man. Yo, me, I'm out the game too, man. It's all about black men reaching our goals and getting out the game, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Told y'all, man. Black love, man. Black love. That's what we supporting here. Last but not least, we got my man. This is my man. Now, this is a guy I support wholeheartedly. Who you, who you support? My oh. man, Gilbert Arenas. Okay, okay, okay. Gilbert Arenas once played point guard for the uh, Washington Wizards, but he was a basket case. Like, <laughs> something was wrong with Gilbert. So, Gilbert's no longer in the league, but before he left the league, he made sure he shot up a few clubs. Yeah. So, he got a baby mother. Damn. Um, I think he shares a baby mother with... Uh, no, his baby mother is Matt Barnes' baby mother's sister. Mm. So, so, yeah. Um, so... Uh, they, they've been all over social media the past couple years talking shit back and forth. And uh, I guess two years ago, he sued her for defamation. What? And he won. Oh, man. That, that's, for, that's what was the number, of, uh, number Kira? 110 racks. Now, I know that is Trump change to you these days. To me, 110K put me in the game. 110K, 110K I'm talking different to people. Wait, man. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> Imagine your baby mother owing you $110,000 and not paying. So now he went to the sheriff and he said, pay up. I want y'all to go get my money from her account. Or throw her ass in jail. Or throw her in jail. Damn. Well, I ain't gonna lie, man. Yo, brother's getting robbed out here. Man, listen, man. Yo, brother's getting robbed out here, man. Taxes already taken out here. Yo, we need, we need some type of refund. We need some type of... Well, you know what I'm saying? Some payback. So, BMR. You know? yeah, Black man reparation. And this is the start of it. Uh, man, I, I love the girls, man. I love the girls. I don't think girls... But y'all girls shouldn't be trying to f with s either, man. Trying to break our money and take our shit. I'm with you. Because, you know, we, we want for raw hard. We, yeah, you know. No, I want to, I just want an Uber. He want the Ferrari. I don't even need to drive my own car. I just need an Uber. I'm about to ask designer to cash at me for an Uber right now. I need that. But, but you know, I ain't going to lie, man. I'm going to think about the kid, you know what I'm saying? If she good to the real kid, she good to the baby, and you ain't using that for none of that bundles, None of mm. red bottom, none mm. of that. Careful you shoot that club up. All right? Uh, I, you know what? I'm actually yeah, going to start. My pullout game is elite, bro. I ain't going to lie. I'll pull out 40 minutes. 40 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I pull out, man. Hey, I ain't playing, bro. <laughs> Word, man. My pullout game trash. I got two kids. My pullout yeah, game like, is elite trash. Yo, I'll you be feel what I'm yo, I jump out the. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I be finishing that shit like a, a Olympic. Huh. Yeah. Each and every week, I do my best to make sure I bring some light to maybe something going on in our community, the black community that uh may not be getting the most uh visibility. Um, and that's no different this week. So uh, I want to bring some attention to uh, the case of Ramon Smith and Jaron Moreland. I hope I said his name. I'm, I think it may be Jaron. Jaron, Jaron. I'm going to use my blackness and say Jaron. Um, both of them 21. Uh, the two men were lynched in 2018. Yes, wow. 2018 in Oklahoma. We are still dealing with black men getting lynched. On April 18th, police found the dismembered bodies of the young men in a pond outside of Oklahoma City. Three white men and one white woman have been arrested for the crime. This was a gun sale. They set up a gun sale in Oklahoma that is completely legal. So one more time, we doing some shit we supposed to be doing. We doing some legal shit well within the ramification of the law. And we still end up dead. The white men heard the sounds of a gun being racked, quote unquote. Uh, and they thought Ramon and Jerron were about to shoot them, so they shot them. They hit the bodies so uh, and tied tender blocks to the bodies so that they would sink to the bottom of the uh, river. And in addition, they removed both victims' clothing and burned them in a barrel before dumping them in the water. So if it was, uh, my thing is, if it was that, if, they, if you felt that frightened, why would you do all that, all the missing of the body? That's all I'm saying. So you a whole white man in America. You said you felt threatened for your life. 
You shot two black men. So you take the dead body and still do what you want to do with it. In Oklahoma, you was going to get off regardless. <laughs> you Brooklyn. was going to get off regardless. Right. Our world, man, our country, man, we live in, man. You know, the fact that they let things like that happen, you know, uh, right. just let guns and stuff be wild on the streets and just let people feel like they could do things like that. And it, do, it doesn't make, it doesn't help any situation, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Even that even happening. You feel right. me? Like in Oklahoma, like that's somebody's kid. You know what I'm saying? That's somebody. Like, exactly. Make sure you hit us on all of our social networks. Um, drop a comment if you know anything or if you know the families, if there's any way to, you know, maybe send money to go fund me or whatever's going. If you're watching this, let us know um, here at I'll Apologize Later. All right, well, design, we keep, we having a good time. Gang, gang, gang. All right, so we get into one of my favorite segments. Okay. Track of Trash. Now, this is the segment where we get to listen to a record, just like if we was in the whip or we was in the studio. This week is going to be Fall in Love from Playboy Cardio yeah. off that new mixtape. Yeah. Uh, Fire. With fe Fire. Featuring Fire. Rice and Tiller. Too, word, man. So we're going to listen to it. Yeah. Then we'll come back and see what we think. Is it going to be track or is it going to be trash? Okay. All right, ready? All right, let's get into it. <laughs> Hey, 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 that was track of trash. That was uh that was fall in love. Yeah. Playboy Cardi, Rice and Teller. What you think about it? I think I think it's cool. I think it's cool. I think it got me dancing, man. It, yeah. got, me, it got a nice bop, man. You know what I'm saying? That remind me of this, that 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 oh, oh, that Cardi, man. That Cardi, yeah. man. Him and Pierre definitely be cooking up, man. I like this record. Oh, dang. I like this record. Look, see, I thought I hated everything. I like this record. Yeah. I, I I like the fact that Playboy Cardi doesn't try to say anything. Mm -hmm. I like that he gets in that pocket. He just and make he you just dance. makes you dance. Yeah. Like I like that shit. I heard that shit and was like, no, this shit is the one. Like. I need this. <laughs> this is the record right here. Like, this is the one right here. Man, I was listening to Daddy Home, Bring right. Money Home, and right. Poke It Out, him and Nicki Minaj, and definitely, right. I have definitely became a fan after this like this project. I didn't hear any of his projects before, so yeah, this okay. was my, like, my first introduction to just like him, like a full body work from right. him, so it was definitely dope. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm with this tape. You, you gotta get a record, son. Yeah, yeah we need, come on, son. What, what's up? We man, need a Cardi. We need a Playboy Cardi yeah, designer so real, so like, uh, LA to New York, man. Look, if you do that remix of LA to New York, it's the same kind of swag. So do you know what time it is? Hell yeah, definitely. Playboy Cardi. I know y'all watching. Hell I know yeah. you're listening. <laughs> designer wants that LA to New York. Remix. I need that LA to New York. Remix, Let's make man. it happen. Let's do it. Let's, Let's do make it. it happen, young man. Heck yeah. So, moving on to the next segment. A little segment I like to call Keep That Same Energy. You did. You know, yeah. we from a place where we like men to be men. <laughs> we like men to stand tall. Yeah, sorry, say man. what you say and stand by it. So, this is a segment called Keep That Same Energy. Mm -hmm. We're going to see if you keep that same energy, right? Yeah. All right, so on Twitter. On the Twitter of Twitters, I was going through it and I seen you say, Designer and Drake, what's up? And then you tagged Drake. Are we getting... A designer and Drake record. We might be getting it real soon. Mm. Might, it, it might be getting it real soon, man. Y'all you know been in the studio? Y'all chopped it up anything? Man, I definitely see my boy, man. I was supposed to have met up one of them at a dinner one night. You know what I'm saying? I wound up getting tired, man. But you we curved talking, him? man. We talking, man. You curved Drake? I did not curve Drake. I did not curve Drake. I wound up getting tired. Maybe it was at the at awards, but you know what I'm saying? We didn't make it happen, man. Like I heard his new record with him and Baby, so I was yeah, like, Lil yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was like, yo, you know what? He could, he let, could. Yeah, let me just acknowledge my boy real quick. Like, yo, man, you know, yo, me, me and Kanye, so, you know, 20, like 20 million with diamond. Ooh, ooh. Me, me, me and Drake could definitely. definitely double try. diamond? Du what happens after Wait, diamond? You go double diamond? Yeah, I put double diamond, 15 million, so, you know what I'm saying? Heck yeah, so, you, you know, push it for <laughs> Listen, double diamond, son. Thank you, bro. You on a Drake record, son. Man, ASAP. We need that ASAP, man. Drizzy, you know what time it is, man. Put all that, all that. We going to sing together. We going to do all that. Pause. <laughs> yeah, listen, we here. But uh, now let's talk about you. Yeah. Life of Designer. You dropped it. Surprise. Yeah. May 4th. I remember I was on my title app. Yeah. I said, Designer dropped something new? Hey, I hey. said, nah, hell no. <laughs> Gave us a few records. You know what I'm saying? Look, Tonka. Hey, hey, price hey. tag. Much love, much Destination. Love. <laughs> Destination. You're trying to get somebody to get somebody pregnant on yeah, that record. You, you, you got a little vividy vibe. <laughs> What's up, man? What, what 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 made you just pop up out of nowhere with the with the record? Man, um, definitely, man. It's summertime, man. It's getting hot, man. It's the mm -hmm. storm, man. Kanye, everybody's working. Pusha right. T's working. I was going crazy. 
Um, everybody's time to work, man. It's because you, you were signed by Pusha, actually. I was signed by just straight the whole team. The whole, you know what I'm okay. the whole, whole good man. Pusha T, he's our president. He moves yeah. around according while Kanye's in office and right, everything. Right, right. So Pusha T's moving around and everything. But yeah, you think I'm saying like just it was just a whole family thing, a whole right. family reaction and worried. It's time, man. Like mm -hmm. it's just it's time to bring the music out. It's time, man. I've been holding for a certain for, for for a time and just going on tour and just. Doing a, a million other things, being on tours and movies. Shout out Ocean Eight, Purge. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? I'm in the Purge coming out. I'm in a lot of like a lot of great movies coming out, and it's just like how just did this like happen? That. Man, man, how did this happen? I I was at Summer Jam that year. Yeah, uh, Good Music did it. Mm -hmm. I remember vividly seeing you jump out to smoke in New York City, New Jersey. Went crazy. Get get, get. like what was that? What is what is this like? What man. is this feeling like? Like what? what like, do you get a chance to like really sit down and sit with it? Like, yo, that whole I, I I tell you that whole day, man, was just crazy, bro. Just like being at the summer jam, man, right. New York City, right. bro. Like that was crazy, man. The whole time, like before we turned around, yo, it was supposed to be like we all supposed to have been still, right? Like they was like, yo, be still, everybody, be still. We all was standing on the spinning thing, so he's like, yo, be still, be still. Yo, I'm standing there, bro. My mind just started flipping. Like right. I'm just like. Yo, it's game time. The things spin, bro. And just like everything, bro. Like it's like it's it's one of them feelings, bro. Like sometime it won't hit you to five months later. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like yo, this is what I'm really doing. Like even right. today, like I thought about it. Like yo, I woke up today. I usually you gotta go to school. Like I'll be thinking still right. sometime. Right, like, like I still. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I usually gotta go to school, but I ain't going to school. I'm up all night. I'm playing the video games. Right. I'm doing. I'm planning out. You know what I'm saying? Making plans, building, talking to my team, and being a boss and doing all type of stuff. So it's just like when you wake up and every day you start feeling that like that when you coming from Bed Stuy, Brooklyn, and mm -hmm. that, that it feels crazy, bro. You it, dropped a. a a record breaking record. Yeah. A record breaking record. You yeah. were paying the fifteen million. Yeah. And then to me, as a music critic and as a fan, yeah. I think you dropped two records specifically that were better than Panda. Much love, I appreciate it. You Thank dropped you. up. And then you dropped Trap Phone with Don Q. I said, these two records are better than uh not to mention you dropped Timmy Turner, which threw the culture in a uh uh because that that did a couple ends. Thank you, thank you do you, you do Timmy you. Turner that put I made the beat and everything, my own production, everything on that. And know? then people look at you and they say, they, after you drop those two records, and people yeah. look at you and say, "Yeah, I don't think he, I don't, I don't think he got another one at him. He's falling off." How, what, what is that pressure like? What are you? What man, are you? it's like Jordan, man. You know mm. what I'm saying? I feel like Jordan. I feel like LeBron. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I I'm not. You saying, might not want to feel like LeBron right not, now. Not like LeBron. Not right right now. Now. You know what I'm saying? I feel one. But yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? But you dig like, bro, definitely like this feeling like like one of the greats. You know, I feel yeah, like one yeah. of the greats. Um, I did a lot. You know what I'm saying? Coming in first record. A lot of these big artists now, look, they had the grind. You know what I'm saying? I really came in and really just hit, and everybody felt like I was here for 10 years and better. It's time for Design to come back, and I just make my statement on the stage. Mm. That's I have to say, LOD is out now. Out now, man. Tonka, price tag, trap phone, up. I feel like I need to go back and pay attention to up, but I could be being biased. But... Uh, Ocean Eight coming out. Yes, Ocean uh, Eight Purge, man. Shout purge. Out to the team. Heck yeah. Make sure, make sure y'all support this brother. Yes. And like I said, I appreciate you coming out. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you coming through. Hey, hey. We got, we got one more segment to get to, yeah. and then we gonna go get in some trouble. Well then, ladies, gentlemen, and all who may fall in between, it looks like we have reached the end of another episode, but not before I let you know who held that L. This little segment, hold that L is my time to let you know who really <laughs> this week. Who was a f***ing bozo? Who really worked hard to show they goddamn ass? You want to know who it was? You want to know who it was, designer? I would love to know who it was. It, who was, was, it? it, was, it was this bland woman, this, this very, very plain ham-looking woman. Like, you ever seen a slice of ham? Like, she looks like a slice of ham, like deli ham. <laughs> This woman, this Canadian, uh, Nicole Arbor. That, am I saying it right, guys? Nicole Arbor. Mm -hmm. Nicole Arbor is, I, she fancies herself to be a comedian. Mm -hmm. she, uh, she did a parody of Childish Gambino's This Is America, and it was from a feminist standpoint, which is cool, <laughs> but we all know that white women feminism is not encompassing of black women or black lives. So if you haven't seen the video, Thank God, but I'm sorry. You, if I had to see it, you gotta see it. So take a look here. We just want money. Get a mammy home. 
This is America. Don't catch you climbing up. Don't catch you climbing up. Cause don't get you slipping up. Hey, come on. This is America. We'll say North America. Look how we living now. The boys could be tripping now. So as you can see, she, she's walking behind a black woman taking selfies while this black woman's trying to breastfeed. Uh, there's some cheerleaders, some, some some poorly built cheerleaders. These 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 cheerleaders were built like Sega Genesis cartridges. You remember them? Yo, you remember the Sega cartridges? The Nick Tindo. You, you, you gotta blow the button. Blow the That's what they was built like. Nicole Arbor, this stinks like uh, y'all potato salad. <laughs> this this stinks like y'all green bean casserole, unseasoned. Her unseasoned feminism. Nobody wanted that bullshit. See, the thing about white feminism is they have this, what's that called? And I think a white woman came up with the term FOMO. FOMO, fear of missing out. That's all white feminism is. FOMO. They have fear of missing out. They missing out on some cool shit. They missing out, hey, don't forget about us. Don't forget about us. Hey, we're going through stuff too. We're getting so much viewership on TV and so much representation that I feel like my cat isn't represented enough. Nicole Arbor, this shit was trash. Um, it was offbeat the whole time because, you know, uh, white women don't have rhythm. There's a lot of things we need in the world. That was not it. What we do need, though, Nicole Arbor, is we need you to step up and hold this out. Well, like I said, that's all the time we have this week. Uh, thank you to my guest designer. Gang, gang, gang. Thank you for having me, man. Let's go. Time Listen, of course. Here, yeah, man. we got to do this again. Tell the people where they can find the album, where they can stream the album, get the album. Yes. Tell them where they get the merch, the movies, all of that before you get out of here. I got you. I got you. LED out, man, right now on all streaming platforms. You can get it. iTunes, Spotify, the big team everywhere, all streaming platforms. Again, go get the merch at shop.lifeofdesigner.com. Get swagged up. Booty shorts coming up this summer for the girls. It's getting hot, baby. Enjoy your day. If if I see my girlfriend in LOD booty shorts, I'm dropping off at your house. Man, nah, you, yo, man. No, no. Yo, bro, no, you got to drop the picture in my DM so I can post it. You say I'm putting my girl's don't, ass on? Don't drop, okay. no, don't, don't, right. don't drop, don't bring over. Don't All right, bring designer. Over. All right, designer. All right. All right, designer. <laughs> Fat enough of you. <laughs> and listen, I, they, 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 they kept the lights on. BET, they, they, they let me do this again. So I thank you. Thank you to the listeners. Thank you to everybody who got pissed off last week. Thank you to everybody pissed off this week. Um, if you feel any sort of kind of way, let me know in the comments below. Uh, no, don't let me know. I'm lying. Let BET know. Um, and you can tell everybody to watch this. Make sure you go to YouTube, BET Networks on YouTube, and follow us at BET on all social platforms. But you can follow me at Mouse underscore Jones on Twitter and Instagram. Don't tell me nothing. I don't give a I already said what I said, and you can't beat me, so I don't care. Um, so yes, <laughs> so so yes, follow me there. Um, and if you've been pissed off, from the bottom of my heart, I sincerely want to let you know. I apologize. I'll apologize later. <laughs> <laughs>